we, as I mentioned earlier, are going to be doing a countdown of the nine best or my nine favorite wrestling interviews slash promos in WWE history. We are keeping this to a WWE only list because it was impossible for me to narrow my original list down to only nine. So the first thing I did was I took out all the non WWE ones and I still had a surplus of like four. So I had to cut it down from there, but we got it down to nine and we're going to start with number nine this week. One of my favorite all time promos is from a guy who in my opinion, is probably, not even probably, he is the best villain. He is easily the best heel in WWE history. One of the best heels in wrestling history. And that is Mr. McMahon. We've seen a lot of great Vince McMahon promos over the years. A lot of bad, very repetitive Vince McMahon promos. But there's been a lot of great ones in there. Uh, Vince was certainly at his best in that period from like 98 to 2000, 2001. We got a lot of good stuff in there from him. And I can tell you my, probably my favorite That's why it's on this list. My favorite Vince McMahon promo is one that I know some of you are going to remember. It was from an episode of SmackDown on May 11th of 2000. And the entire McMahon-Helmsley faction was in the ring. So Pat Patterson had something to say. He talked about wearing a pair of underwear with skid marks when he gave Rikishi a stink face. Hope nobody was eating while you were listening to this podcast. Shane McMahon had something to say about Big Show. This is when Shane was doing his ho- his whole, uh, which way did he go? Uh-huh, uh-huh, which way did Shane go? When he was feuding with the Big Show, Triple H talked. And then finally, Vince McMahon spoke. And to just set some of the backstory here, the McMahon-Helmsley faction was not very fair to a lot of people on the roster. Chris Jericho was the Intercontinental Champion at the time, and I guess on the Monday prior to this show, on the on the Raw previous to this episode of SmackDown, they had put Chris Jericho in three separate matches on the show, all of which were for his Intercontinental title. And Jericho won two of them, and then in the last one, he finally lost to Chris Benoit. So essentially, they had screwed Jericho out of the Intercontinental Championship. And they had just announced an Iron Man match was going to be taking place at the next pay-per-view between Rock and Triple H. So Vince took the microphone and he, of course, was serenaded by chance of asshole, as he was many times back then. And he was on television. He was a giant asshole, which is why he works so well. And he talked about the fact, look, you know, I, I get it. I get that a lot of you feel like Chris Jericho is treated unfairly, and we made him wrestle three different times on one show and defend his title, but you know what? That's just too damn bad. Because sometimes things aren't fair. And then he went into different examples of things that aren't fair. And he talked about how, you know, you you people are the kind of people, you'll wait in line, and you'll wait forever. You're all lined up, you're waiting for your turn, and, you know, you'll, you'll see someone like me very aggressively cut in front of the line, and you'll say... Wait a minute, that's not fair. And then he talks about the parking lot. You'll be in the parking lot. There you are. You're waiting for a parking space. And there it is. All of a sudden, a spot opens up. And you're driving your car. And up, somebody zips in and cuts you off and takes your spot. And you say, well, wait a minute. That's my parking space. That's not fair. And just the way he said it, it was so fucking funny. And I have to say, he could be annoying at times, but you had Michael Cole and Jerry Lawler on commentary, and Lawler was just cackling like a hyena throughout this whole thing. And it actually added to it. I thought it actually made this funnier whenever Lawler would laugh and would chime in here. But the parking lot thing just, (laughs) the parking lot thing is what got me. That to me was the funniest part of this whole promo. So again, he talks about how that's not fair, and, you know, then of course he gets into, he gets into the example of sometimes you'll look in the full length mirror, and by the way, his pronunciation of the word mirror here is fantastic. You've got to find this promo and, and listen to it for yourself. And he says, you'll look in the mirror and you'll look at yourselves. And if you're a woman, you'll say, oh, look at the cellulite on my on my hips and look at my buttocks. That's not fair. And you men, you know, you men look in the mirror and you say, well, that can't be me with the pot belly and the small genitalia. And that's where Lawler, <laughs> Lawler said, oh, he really is talking about you, Michael. And... He goes on and he just talks about the fact that, you know, let's talk about the money. Let's talk about the money. 
And he says, you people, you scrimp and you save and you work yourselves half to death. And still, you can't afford what you want. That's not fair. It's not fair that some people are rich and some people are not rich. That's not fair. And he says, some people are just born with inferior DNA. And you say, well, that's not fair. I was born with inferior DNA. But you feel sorry for yourselves and you wallow in your self-pity. And at another point in the promo, he actually tells each person in the crowd, look at the person next to you. Look how ugly they are. And it was just, it was, it was, I hate to use this word because Cole uses it all the time, but it really was like that vintage Mr. McMahon evil prick boss promo. I don't know what it was about this one in particular, but this is the one that stands out to me the most. And it stands out to me for the final line of the promo. Because he gives all these examples, and he's got the crowd booing him. He's making everybody just feel like total shit. And the entire McMahon-Helmsley group is behind him. They're smiling, and they're laughing, and they're nodding their heads, and they're agreeing with everything that he has to say. And finally, he gets to the end of the promo, and he says, And some of you, a select few, you might as well go ahead and admit You might as well own up to the philosophy for some of you, which is that life sucks and then you die. And that was the money line. And I just thought that to me is the all time best Vince McMahon promo to this day, 16 years, 16 and a half years later, whatever it's been. That is still the Vince McMahon promo above all else that stands out to me in my mind. And to me is one of the greatest promos that I've ever heard in that company. So, it's the May 11, 2000 episode of SmackDown. You don't even have to look for the full show. It might be on the network, actually. It should be It should be on the network. Uh, but you can find it on YouTube. Just type in, it's the infamous, uh, or the famous, I should say, Vince McMahon Life Sucks promo. It should come right up. And I just thought the delivery of it, it, it's, it kind of makes me sad now when I see Vince, you know, he's still, he's still Vince, but like, he's not the Vince of old. This is the Vince McMahon that I remember. And to me, this is an all-time great promo. 